What's up guys, RJ Tutorials here showing you guys an uh, improved version of how to get RG Loader on your RGH. Uh, this is using the updated version, not the old one, and it has the new file systems for 14699. I suggest getting it all off XBINs, but I can provide the links if you need it. You also need your original NAND and a CPU key, and your NAND has to be on 14799, uh, 14699 or lower. It won't work if you have the CV split. So, so just extract them both to the same folder. I'm naming mine RG Loader. All right. Now you're gonna need a USB and XCX menu, or whatever you use to copy files. You can use Freestyle Dash, but I use XCX menu because it's easier for me. So just make a folder on your USB called File Systems and go into the RG Loader folder wherever you extract them to, find the Hard Drive File Systems folder and copy that whole folder onto the USB folder inside File Systems. It's kind of confusing, but yeah. If these aren't on your hard drive, it will not boot. You cannot do it from a USB or internal memory. It has to be an actual SATA hard drive on your console. So yep, there are all the files, so I'm going to go to XCX menu now. So here's XCX menu. And yep, I'm going to copy them, find my hard drive, right on the root, the top level. And yep, there it's done. So that step's done. I find that way it's easier. So you want to do this before you flash RG loader, so you can use XCX menu. All right. So now we're going to actually make the image. So you should have RG loader folder and your NAND folder with the CPU key. So open up both folders. Copy the uh, original NAND into that folder and make sure it's named NAND.bin. Alright, now copy your CPU key and right click build.bat and hit edit or just open it up in a text editor, whichever is easier, and paste in your CPU key there, and make sure you save it. If you don't do that, it won't work. So now that you got that all set up, just double click on build bat, and it will do it all for you, mostly. You set the few questions. All right, so yeah, it's at saying making sure you have the file systems folder there type in what dash you want fat or slim whichever one you're doing it's up to you and there you go it's patching all the stuff for you takes a couple seconds All right, and there's your image. It should say like image 14699 dev nand or whatever it is called. I don't really care. But then put back in your USB. If you're on the latest uh, GG build, you don't need to use raw flash. But if you aren't, you're going to need raw flash v4. And it needs to be named nand flash top in. But if you're on the latest GG build, it should have the basic uh, Zell. So just name it up the flash. And this. Uh, on mine, I'm going to show you using raw flash v4, and here it is. So here's six, uh, Zell booting up. All right, there's the raw flash there, and it should start flashing. There it is.
All right, it should be done flashing. Now start up your console normally, and you should be uh, greeted with this. Choose your language, and you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine RGH Tutorials, so you know it's me. Also, you should be able to connect to the SDK using this if you have an Ethernet or Wi Fi, whatever you're using. So it is kind of like a full dev kit, but a few features, like not really needed. But yeah, it works fine. And here everything is, everything works. And on the top right, you should see RJ Tutorials, what I named it, and it's on 14699. So, yep, thanks for watching, and shout out to Carl Uch because he wanted me to, and thanks to Stoker25 and Tie-Dye. If you need any help with this, I suggest going to RG Loader on Fnet. That's where they usually are, and they give great support. So thanks for watching, and I should have more up later. Thanks.